everyone! As you already know if you follow my Facebook or Twitter, I'm taking part in a collaboration between Swifty, Mercator, Cytohelm, and myself. We've been playing some Guild Wars 2 together! There will likely be regular streams throughout this week hosted by Swifty, and we're all playing together on the Arid and Terra server. We've got a guild all set up, so if you're interested in playing with us, you should head on over. I've put our in-game names in the annotation box so you can message any of us for a guild invite. If you're not familiar with Guild Wars 2, here is a little introduction. Guild Wars 2 is a recent MMORPG created by ArenaNet. Unlike many other MMOs, this game does not have a monthly service fee. As soon as you open the launcher, you'll notice a very distinct and unique art style that's present throughout the whole game. Upon creating a character, you can choose between five races, each of which have the usual male and female gender options. Any of the races can play any of the eight classes available. No matter what kind of character you want to play, the creation menu has you covered. You can as easily be a gorgeous female human as a quirky little Asura or a rugged strong Norn. When you're happy with your character's physical appearance, you move on to define some of their characteristics and backstory. While this sets the path, you further refine your character's personality through conversation options in-game. The game itself is beautiful, the world you get to explore is huge, yet there's lots of attention to detail. The lighting and ambience creates a great immersion and there are little restrictions on what you can explore. Even the map is beautifully designed, seamlessly scrollable and will give you a lot of information at a glance. The more traditional quests that you have yet to do are marked as a heart outline on the map, whereas live events that all players can participate in are marked by an orange circle, with a separate icon for the objective. The reward for the live events depends on your level of participation and usually consists of experience points, money and karma points, which can be spent on rewards. Getting around in Guild Wars 2 is easy. The game has an implemented waypoint system where you are free to travel to any waypoint you've previously discovered for a small fee, just enough of a fee to make you ponder whether the benefit outweighs the cost. Combat is straightforward, but mastering it takes a bit of practice. Depending on which class you play, you have to employ different techniques to take little damage while dishing out a lot. Attacks can be dodged and obstructed, so in a pinch you can use the environment to your advantage. On the other hand, you also have to pay attention that you have a clear path to your target or your cooldown may end up wasted on a tree trunk. Each class can equip a variety of weapons, and each type of weapon comes with its own set of abilities. To add on to that, if your character dives underwater, he or she will equip a breathing mask and the equipped weapon will change into something more suited to underwater, yet again with its own set of abilities. As you level up, you can purchase abilities to further refine your playstyle. There are also many ways to change your character's appearance. For instance, there are items that let you combine two pieces of equipment, taking the look of one piece and the stats from another to form a new one. You can also dye any gear you pick up in up to 4 colors per piece. Your character starts with 21 basic starter dies, but you can unlock over 400 different dies altogether. An easy way of acquiring new dies is to utilize the Black Lion Trading Company. The store has many different things for sale, such as dies, seasonal items and outfits, but it also features experience bonuses, mini pads, convenience services and game upgrades. The store's currency is gems, which can be bought for real money or exchanged for in-game currency. The Trading Company tab also features a trading post, akin to an auction house, where players can buy and sell items to other players. The Trading Post functions across all servers, which makes the game economy a global matter rather than server-dependent. To socialize, players can join groups, guilds, send whispers or take part in events. The Guild tab has extensive information about each guild member, including their professions, level, current zone and achievement points. Guild members work together to acquire influence points for their guild. Influence points are used to purchase cool upgrades for the guild, such as guild vaults, guildwide experience boosts and PvP bonuses. Players can belong to more than one guild at a time, though they may only represent and earn influence points for one at a time. That's pretty much all I have for this quick Guild Wars 2 overview. If you're interested in picking up a new MMO and Guild Wars 2 seems like it might fit the bill, come say hello at Aridan Terrace.